Hey you guys, Marilyn here, Spiritual Empress. How is everybody? Happy almost beginning of September. <laughs> uh, I can't wait. This month has just been freaking wonky. I don't know, just mentally and energetically, um, especially for Aquarius. Uh, so we're going to get into the Aquarius read for September. Uh, Y'all, it gets better. <laughs> But I did get some requests for some videos, so uh, thank you for likes, comments, shares, subscribes. I really appreciate it. Also, for new members, welcome, welcome. Uh, if you'd like to hear about anything specific, talk about, about a bunch of different stuff. Also, if you're a cross-watcher, this isn't just an Aquarius channel. They just kind of run shit. So <laughs> uh, if you would like to hear about your sign, uh, if you like read on that, or you want to hear about spiritual woo-woo stuff, please drop it in the comment box below. I have gotten a lot more requests lately, and I do have some more that I have to do, so I'll try to be uploading them as soon as possible. So just drop in the comments below what you'd like to hear about, and then I'll pump those out as fast as I can. Uh, also, what was I going to say? Something else I was going to say. Y'all, yeah, well, August has me in a fog. I don't know what, I don't know what the energy is. Um, but yeah, we did. Uh, I've just been traveling a lot. You guys really, really, really get out of your head. Go have some fun. If not, steal your happiness. That's what I always say. Steal some happiness. So even if it's a little thing in the day and maybe you just go get yourself a freaking $7 cup of coffee and that like self-care kind of stuff. So we've just been traveling a lot and just kind of being silly and uh, hanging out with friends and stuff. So um, also, also, I did the hot ones challenge. This is what happens, okay? And I'll timestamp when I do the, when I do the read. But uh it's so funny because we were supposed to go out with our girlfriend while well, it was uh, our girlfriend and her husband. And we, that's like our couple date or whatever. And so uh, we were all supposed to meet up and uh, Cancer got, she drank a little too much the night before. She's like, can we have rain check? So we didn't know what we, we were planning out like the whole week that we were going to go out with them. And so uh, y'all, I did the hot ones challenge. I think I freaking owned it. Uh, we're like, he's like, do you want to do the hot ones today? And I was like, oh, sure. So if you guys didn't see in my community feed, I bought the whole box and it has 10 sauces and I was super, super excited to do it. So I was like, yeah, like, fuck it. I was like, let's stay in and drink and do hot ones. That sounds like a good idea. So we ended up doing that and uh, I did it, y'all. I did it without milk. Uh, I think I had a couple of sips of my cocktail, but other than that, like I didn't drink any water, or any milk. Uh, I did it. And let me tell you, most of the sauces, except for one, were really delicious. So if you guys have the funds, uh, it's like 120 bucks for the set, but every sauce pretty much that we tried was good. But once you hit the bomb, that the bomb sauce, that one friggin' threw me over. But like, I was like, hell yeah, I did the hot ones challenge. I did pretty freaking good. So uh, yeah, y'all, uh, if you're Aquarius, just try to have fun, make it your own. Um, <clears throat> this energy, so moving forward for Aquarius for September. Again, we're going into Virgo right now. Virgo always says money to me. And I had called it because I said, if you guys are feeling really bogged down in August, that is going to change in September. Weirdly enough, I went and I charted this morning and that's exactly what's gonna happen in September for Aquarius especially. So uh, a lot of what it has to do is Jupiter's in our second house for September. So a lot of this is going to be financial gain, okay? So uh, like I said, Virgo energy, those are badass workers, okay? Virgos are very good with money, very good at hustle, okay? So uh, it's gonna be a lot of monetary gain for you guys. And a lot of it is going to have to do with family members or people close to you. So it could be a windfall of money, some sort of maybe inheritance you get, Maybe something's closing or maybe somebody, a partner of yours wants to go in business with you, uh, but you guys will be getting financial gains in September. So if you guys were feeling very stagnant financially in August, everything, like I said before, is going to rev up in September. So y'all, it gets better. I don't know why. I'm just like so sick of August energy. <laughs> I'm like not feeling it. It's like this for me every year though. So I don't know what August is, but when September starts, I get into like gear and get really like motivated. So, um, so that's for Aquarius for September. We'll just get into it. Um, also, if you guys would like to book readings with me, it's WMegan, M E G N 939 at gmail.com charting cards uh whatever just go ahead and email me and we'll go ahead and get that scheduled for you so welcome welcome new people but let's go aquarius got a lot of nines lately 
<clears throat> hmm. This just looks more like a freaking love reading. This is funny. Okay, here you have the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords here, okay? See that cat? Pretty upset. Uh, it looks like you guys went through some sort of financial situation uh, that kind of hurt you a little bit, okay? Um, this is also a very, uh, you know, like when you're always having to like watch your back, that's, that's the nine of swords here. Um, it looks like you really had to watch your, your back in a situation because you had to be, it's almost, it's not a defensive card. Um, but it looks like you were having a lot thrown at you all at once, um, with the six of pentacles here with something you were either, maybe you're trying to get ahead or you're trying to catch up. Uh, and that's kind of what's going on here. So it looks like you were getting a little bit worn out with that. Um, <clears throat> and for some reason, intuitively, this could be not. Also, when you get stuck in situations like that, you get so focused on the situation that you don't really follow your own intuition on it. A lot of that has to do with stability, okay? So it also has to do with being entrepreneurial or um, risk-taking, and maybe you're too scared to actually um, walk away from this because you don't have time. It's like when you're so stressed, you don't have time to think of a new strategy. You don't have time to like, you know, intuitively, I think that I should leave, um, you know, or intuitively, I think I should go for this, but right now I don't think I really have the extra, you know, money to, to invest that right now because I, I, I'm like really strapped tight. That's kind of what this is here with the high priestess in reverse. So it looks like something kind of wasn't, going your way because you are so consumed with this situation here. So it could be love. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit more finances, um, but it looks like you weren't kind of like following your own inner voice or your inner self or your inner energy is what I say because a lot of people have different abilities and they just don't listen to like that little voice in their head that's like, hey, I've been in this before. What can I do different? Um, so it looks like intuitively you you guys have been kind of consumed with this situation here um, and it's been stressful that is stressful i hate being stressed you guys and i feel like my job on this planet is not to worry i'm a four six projector okay it's not to worry and i feel like i constantly worry so you guys have to mentally like tell it to shut the fuck up okay <laughs> just tell it like anytime i worry about anything it has never done me any good just tell it to shut the fuck up. Whatever's going to happen, happen. So it looks like you guys were really stressed out in a situation. Uh, you could have had a partnership here too. Could have been some sort of partnership. You have the King of Wands in reverse here. This is somebody who's not really real good at communicating. This could have been somebody either. This is a partner of yours or this is somebody maybe you're uh, dating briefly. Something like that. Looks like you guys did have a good connection here. You guys did have the two of cups here. Um, so it does look like you guys had some sort of connection. Um, it could have been a, a work connection as well. Um, something that was almost almost like faded to start, okay? Um, but it looks like this person here is not very, uh, not a great communicator. Or if they communicate, it can be, I almost like to think with the wands. The wands are like ultimate communicators. This is also, I call them posers, okay? <laughs> this is somebody posing as maybe something better than they are. And maybe they are good with words, but they use it to take advantage. That's kind of the way I see it. A little bit manipulative. Um, also somebody walking around like their shit don't stink and, and it's like, yeah, maybe whatever. Because it looks like right here, maybe they talked a big game as well. Uh, so they could have been lying to you. Um, also with the moon here, they could have been also a liar. Maybe you found out that they were a liar um, because they really didn't have their shit together. You have the three, you have the three of pentacles in the reverse here. So this might have to do with money. Maybe they lost money. Okay. To me, I think with the three of pentacles, like bitch, you ain't got, you ain't got two pennies to run to rub together. Okay. They could have lied about their financial situation and they also could have lost a lot of money. And also I almost think of it as like, for some reason, I'm hearing gambling. Like maybe somebody has a gambling addiction. Um, it could be any kind of gambling, though. It's not just with with money or things like that. But it looks like um, it looks like you were involved with somebody like that. Maybe it was a little bit seedier, <clears throat> and that's why it kind of had like a false start. I know for Aquarius, typically when we find stuff out about people, we'll usually call them out right away. Um, it looks like something like that happened. And you either like cut off whatever was going on or they cut you out. Um, and it looks like it's just very like, this is a basic bitch, okay? <laughs> like this is somebody who is not, 
going to benefit you. So moving forward, it looks like either you or they uh, with the Ace of Cups moved forward in a different direction. And then in the reverse, you have the Knave of Swords. So it looks like these completely two different energies, okay? This completely two different energies. Um, it looks like one of you went this way, one of you decided you were gonna go with some sort of more emotional fulfillment here. Cause you definitely weren't getting it with the king of cups here so you got a lot of water energy moving forward you could be dealing with a water sign okay cancer pisces scorpio um this is the king of cups in reverse as well this is somebody who's really imbalanced i could say with water signs if they're not in tune with their emotions or they don't understand them or know how to um, navigate them because water signs are the most sensitive however a lot of the times they don't know how to navigate those and that can create a lot of problems in relationships it's because it you know like have you ever hung out with like a cancer and they just start bursting out crying for like some reason you're like well what's wrong and they're like well i don't know what's wrong okay well let's sit and like figure it out <laughs> like figure out what's wrong you can't just be like busting out crying in the middle of the market and like i, well, I don't know why like it's it could cause problems in a relationship also, um, with not managing those emotions and stuff, that's also very manipulative behavior. So you could be dealing with a water sign. I know I pulled, I tried to do the read before, I pulled Scorpio's card before. So it could also be a Scorpio, um, maybe it's high Scorpio influence, um, somebody like that. Um, also, it looks like you have the lovers in reverse as well. This to me is like player energy. Um, with the lovers in reverse, this is somebody who's not balanced. This is somebody who like mentally and emotionally is like not does not have their shit together okay um that somebody who's imbalanced also if it is gemini energy and you're dealing with a gemini have y'all ever like have y'all ever hung out around like a bipolar gemini that's kind of the energy i'm getting here but it looks like they did want something from you okay um so definitely um could have been manipulative behavior it looks like they did want some probably wanted something from you um and maybe that they thought that they could have a new start with you or it's kind of like when somebody sees somebody successful and they want an in on it, but again, like they ain't shit, okay? But they see like, ooh, they've got sparkly stuff over there. I wanna, I wanna be a part of that. So now I'm gonna play, like I'm qualified to be a partner with them because I see that they have something going on. So it looks like they did wanna try to start something with you. Um, I don't really see it. They may be coming back too. So just keep an eye out for shady ass freaking people. I hate shady people. They may be trying to go on a new start on their own, like monetarily, or try to start new with you, but I definitely am feeling the money. Also, be very careful about your money in September. When people find out you have money, y'all, if you win the lottery, you keep your damn mouth shut, okay? <laughs> you don't tell nobody you won the lottery, <laughs> you go invest that money. So don't let certain people, like be very cognizant of money, because like I said, you should be doing a lot better in September when it comes to finances. So very cool, very cool. I hate shitty people though, man. <laughs> Why can't we all just chill and be nice to each other? I never understood that, but uh, I don't know. I am really nice. I'm really nice. Not naive, but nice. All right, so if you guys are interested in love for September, I don't even care. If you guys are interested in not, I feel good vibes, okay? <clears throat> Interesante. Okay, you have the devil. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. Devil in reverse, okay? Again, somebody not owning up to their own shit. You could be dealing with somebody that's hanging on still, okay? But they're not dealing with their shit. And it looks like you guys are either wanting to move away from the toxicity or you don't want to be around toxicity in general. I can say with Aquarius, we, we, we get onto bullshit really fast. Um, if we see toxic behaviors, um, this could also be somebody not letting go. So if you guys are like dealing with a relationship that you're like, bitch, this shit's over. Like I, I'm, I'm more than done. And especially with women, y'all, when women say they're done, it's taken them a long time to decide that they're done, okay? Once they decide they're done, it's over. And it's like somebody can't let go, but it looks like you're having some sort of victory over this person um in a way that maybe they're very very toxic to you and you finally got away from it or you finally left and it looks like because you're doing that like 
sometimes when you get out of a relationship, you've been in a long time, you forget how nice it is to like, wow, life is a hell of a lot easier when I'm not with this person. Um, and I know I've experienced that quite a few times. I actually prefer to be single. So um, yeah, it looks like that's kind of what you have because you're just freaking tired. Okay, you have the nine of wands. I pulled the nine of wands before. Again, y'all are tired. This struggle is with another person. You guys are just tired. So it doesn't look like you guys are overly interested in love, but it does look like you have a victory by, I want to say being single, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. Thank you, thank you so much for likes, comments, shares, subscribes, anything you want to hear about, blase, blase, things I always say. So, um, and also, uh, yeah, please email me if you'd like to schedule readings. I'm going to try to do some sort of um, giveaway because I have a really good wholesale place that has all kinds of rocks and crystals, plus my friend's like a professional like tumbler. So I wanna do some sort of giveaway for readings for September, so I'll announce that later. But thank you so much, I love you guys, and we'll talk soon, bye.